Welcome in Mirafiori plant, and I'm here to show you our greatest attempt to renew the industrial automation. In Bari, together with the Polytechnic University, we created a software house dedicated only to image processing and artificial neural networks. Together with this team, we created a new portfolio of solutions called Mira, and I'm here to introduce you the most complex one. What makes Mira unique is that it has been developed inside an industrial automation company. So it means that embedded inside this portfolio, we have all the competencies of almost 50 years of system integration. Mira is a wide range of opportunities going from robo guidance up to artificial neural network welding analyzer systems and last but not least meta languages like Dexter that is a system that permits to translate the human syntax in robo syntax. The customer asked us to develop the manufacturing plant of the new 500 full electric. But in addition to this huge challenge, they asked us also to bring automation in the testing phase of this brand new vehicle. In order to do it, we decided to leverage on our vision called human factoring. That is a principle by which we put the human being at the center of the automation system, enhancing him with collaborative robotics, vision systems, and a full digital environment. The customer need was to test in automatic the infotainment system of the vehicle. That means providing them a robot able to touch the infotainment dashboard and also all the different buttons that are inside of the car. On top of that, we wanted to create something very unique for them, so we decided to create a system able not just to work on the new Fiat 500 full electric, but on all the product portfolio of our customer. To create a unique system, we decided to put together three different layers of technology. The very first one permits us to have the greatest possible accessibility by combining a safe robot with a collaborative robot. The safe robot is the big one, that is the one that permits us to locate the tiny robot wherever we want in the space, entering in each kind of car by the window. The other one is a collaborative robot, uh, that is a robot that can move with very high dexterity inside of the vehicle, touching all the different positions, but at the same time uh, it permits us to give to the customer the possibility to sit inside of the vehicle, because as soon as it touches, everything stops. The second layer of technology is about safety. In fact, what we decided to do was to combine a huge safe robot uh, permitting to the operator to stay close, but not too close to the system, with a collaborative robot, so that we can have a customer inside of the vehicle while the system is working, by granting at the same time a very huge dexterity by means of a very compact robot. And last but not least, the third layer of automation, that is the software, that is the real core of the complete machine, as it's permitting to respect the most complex customer challenge, that was to have the possibility to use the system without having any competence over robotics and vision systems. We created software called Dexterity because we wanted not just to permit a very high dexterity to the robotics inside the vehicle, but also a high dexterity of the human being. With this technology, we are able to translate all the human syntax in robo syntax without providing any complex know-how to the operator. Translating the human syntax into robo syntax it means that we can program the robot not with lines of code, but with four different kinds of instructions. Look, touch, listen and reproduce, like a human being. In this way we can permit to the operator to concentrate on quality and upskilling, and we can leave all the tough job to the robot. As you can imagine, such a complex technology that we developed to answer to a specific customer need, in the reality can be used on many other possible applications. Okay? This is why I'm saying that it's opening a complete renew of the industrial automation. And in fact, we are already thinking about how to use this technology for other applications like the one on battery dismantling.